Have you guys been seeing? They're now, okay. I feel like I haven't really had a chance to talk about Starship too much. But um, of course- I, I, Can I just say I like this episode because Tim is just doing all the talking? <laughs> well, he has I've like had four weeks to make up. I know, yeah, I know. me and Joe are just like, oh, this is nice, great. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go this grab a sandwich. This yeah. is just, oh man, sorry guys. Please interrupt me because I know. <laughs> I, this is enjoy. I'm enjoying this. Oh, I feel like I've had a lot to get off my chest because I've just been watching this stuff in the background and haven't had a time to like catch you guys up on it. So, <sighs> or, or you're okay. sitting there like you're getting everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, well, I haven't even. I didn't even listen to last week's episode. I've been a terrible person. Uh, how Uh-oh. could you? Uh oh. Well, I wasn't on it so what's the point of it no just kidding <laughs> because he's a yeah, terrible person you, you just said it. come on yeah <laughs> oh yeah uh, right. so this brings us up to uh boca chica gal of course mary uh who has been documenting literally every day every minute of this stuff out of <laughs> boca chica um on behalf of nasa spaceflight.com and on behalf of all space enthusiasts she's just been done such a great job along with everyone else down in the area she's been capturing them building starship number three already and look at this she got an awesome shot of looking down, this is the the what oh. Elon's kind of been calling the thrust puck. So this is where the engines will attach to the well, the backside of this um, giant dome that they're flipping in this video. Um, you can see that's the thrust puck where they'll be mounting um, one to three Raptors. It's kind of been up in the air a little bit. Uh, likely, hopefully, three by the time this one's ready to fly. So this is kind of they're calling it serial number three. They took serial number two out to the pad, which was just another structural test. And they, and they basically took it up to operating pressure and it held together really well. After remember serial number one was the one that, you know, did the, yeah. the rapid decompression. Serial number two, they went out and double checked their new welding techniques and made sure that the thrust puck would, would survive. And now we're seeing this actually stack. So this is going on top right now as we speak basically, or yesterday, um, this is going on top of the stack. Look at this. So they're already stacking. This will be the one that hopefully we'll be doing the static fires, some small hops. I don't know yet about the big full blown 20 kilometer hop, but this will definitely be uh, intended to be a, a hopping flight article. And so think about what we've seen in the last two months, literally like three full size, well, two full size prototypes be whipped together. And one like, you know, and, and actually kind of two, cause they had that star popper people were calling it. Uh, or Star Bopper, I don't remember what people were, yeah, but the, another small test tank. So they've really just been cranking. Look at the pace at which they're iterating on. They're going to be blowing up and making more prototypes this year than, like, so far in three or four months. They're going to be what, blowing up? What was that? Did you say they're going to be blowing up? Yeah. They've already in, blown in up all ways. two. They've, they've already... <laughs> They've I already... want to go see that. If they do another, like, hey, because they did it with uh, for the abort test. Although yeah. there's yeah. no abort system here. There's no abort, but no, they but they've they popped two, three. So let's see, Mark One, they popped Star Popper, or whatever they popped, I and mean, they just keep <laughs> intentionally taking these things out to the thing, just <laughs> seeing how much it can handle. And here's the thing: I'm guessing this stuff all always happened with Falcon Nine tanks too, but they just did it where people couldn't see it at McGregor, you know, or mm -hmm. somewhere else. Quadge. So we, we pretend, yeah, with Falcon 1, probably, you know, like we're just, we're actually able to witness them doing these things, but we're seeing them do it in like weeks time. Like Versus every two weeks. They're Blue Origin, right? <laughs> like where it's yeah. completely. Right. So That is what's funny to me is they have just completely opposite ways of doing things. Blue Origin mm -hmm. so secretive and it's like, ooh, we saw a fairing half. Wow. <laughs> you know, and, and then. SpaceX is just like, hey, yeah, let's set your cameras I, up over here and uh, let's yeah, just yeah. pull some stuff up. Say, and, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm half guessing that they're like setting up a coffee stand for all the people they're filming. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, guys, yeah, we're going to put the bathrooms over here. Please form a line. Be, you know, cordial to each other. Yep. Yep. So basically, uh, this is the opposite of, you know, it. <laughs> this is just nuts to see a company building and prototyping and, and having it be cheap enough and quick enough of a build that they don't care if it blows up. That's just the yeah. reality of it. Yeah. It's like, Fail cool, fast. learn from it. Yeah. Well, so this might be a good opportunity to jump into the why don't they just that we have mm. this week. Um, cool. So this came from Trevor in our Discord, one of our Patreon dudes. Thank you, Trevor. He shared this link. Let me see if I can pull it up here. I always get nervous. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did you say why one. don't they just? Oh, go for it. Why 
Do you guys miss me? Was that in <laughs> Was that in a major or minor key? It's it's major. Ooh. It's major. Good question. Oh, I see what you're doing. My old major minor. We're gonna have to show no, that no. someday. But no, I think no, no, I was gonna be afraid of you. No. I was a little afraid of you after I saw that. <laughs> and, I, and we were sh- and we were sharing an Airbnb at the time. Okay, so uh, so this is what was shared with me. Uh, okay, so again, this came from Trevor, but this was on YouTube under Tiger Talar, and Trevor said he did not do this, but it says, why don't they just, in the <laughs> title there, so I don't know if this was directed for us or what, but anyway. What came first? The why yeah, don't they just, I'm not, I'm or sure. this video? So, anyway, this is basically showing a spiral welding, uh, I guess, system or protocol, Machine, whatever the right word yeah, is yeah. here, just to show, like, you could just pull stainless steel right off the roll oh and it's welding it it as it goes kind of like a sewing machine now this is the first one that i've seen that's like an actual visualization of what something like this might look like but i've gotten a lot of questions i've seen a lot of questions on on twitter and whatnot so that's why i thought this might be worth talking about because i've had so many people ask about it like why don't they do some kind of spiral thing like this Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. so obviously tim you're the expert here my thought is the rocket is more than just a tube you know like you can make a tube out of this possibly but it's still you know it's still just a hollow tube (laughs) well okay and it's stainless steel right yeah yeah it's it's not like some exotic weird metal no for now it's literally like 301 some parts gonna be 304 and then like a a special right special thing that SpaceX is working on what was the movie i watched where oh we watched Avatar recently. That's how bad it's got for us in isolation here. Because <laughs> that movie is officially terrible. But It's Pocahontas in space. With no, the Smurfs. No, it's, it's Fern Gully in space. And oh, apparently yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. they got sued for James Cameron. Anyways. Uh, but in it, in it, they the, the metal, the material they're after. Do you guys remember what it's called? Oh. Unobtainium. Unobtainium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. What? What kind of idiocracy? Oh my God! Hey, I kind of anyway. love that. It's unobtainable, all, except for on that planet. Anyways, yep. um, and it causes so, mountains to float. So we should probably so, be describing this, by the way, for those just listening. Oh, it's right, basically yeah. a sheet of a, a roll, big roll of stainless steel being rolled out into this machine that then spiral welds it and puts it into like a look. Imagine like a roll of toilet paper. You know how the the cardboard and the toilet paper. <laughs> goes up in a spiral yeah there you go um it's it's basically doing that and you just weld one continuous seam you could literally weld it uh, and very 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 quickly with automatically it's a great why don't they just but what about okay so if you just have a straight piece of metal like that will it go at that angle oh yeah it comes in sheets it comes in big rolls like this anyway basically it is thin enough to roll it no, but I mean, just anyway. like if you if you try to roll it, won't there be an overlap with the layer below it? Uh, so you can see right here, they kind of slice it in half, At some and then point, it yeah, kind of like, evens it out. Is that kind of what you're talking about, Ben? Like it, so yeah, then you got okay. like a straight edge on the top. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like when you start it out, it's going to be. It just seems like oh, a right. weird. Yeah, like at some point you do cut it, and okay. that'd be easy. That'd be very trivial. Right, right. Yeah, wh- why not do this? I don't know because. Uh, it wouldn't be as strong. I don't know. I guess. Well, I know they're, they're dealing with the, the welding. Line. They've got to perfect the welding first before they could even consider something like this. Why is that a challenge? Like welding steel is something we've oh. mastered. Well, that's a pretty good question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, like why would welding? Yeah, I know and they're not doing friction welding, stir. So they're they're not doing that. friction stir welding or anything. They're doing pretty much off the shelf yeah. stainless steel welding, like which is MIG welding. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. I don't. I well, don't that, even know if it's that's MIG. That's what I was asking because I, I, I actually worked as a uh, a welder for like nine months. Huh. Um, you can get a steel, job at SpaceX. Yeah, steel is the easiest thing to to weld. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, aluminum and some of the like. That's why I asked because aluminum, if you want to weld that, it's you have to use a TIG welder, uh, which is just a bit more finicky and takes a bit more skill. Um, but something like this, yeah, you could just have a machine do it. You don't even have to have right. a person do it. But d- and yeah, but don't forget, do better. stainless steel is harder than regular steel because of its properties. Oh, okay. But not like not impossible. Cold I mean, there's tons of stuff you can purchase that are stainless steel that are welded. You know. No, yeah, it's all it's all possible. I mean, metal, from my experience, is is real easy to work with. It's so yeah. pliable. It's so like it's it's not hard to do any of this stuff. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Joe, you kind of had a, a thought, didn't you? What was your... Did I? Um, yeah, you're, you said something like it's not a metal tube. Do you have anything else to add? Because I'll give you my rundown. Well, then. I mean, when I when I see the way they kind of stack things, um, it, it seems like you know one one section has a tank and one section has, uh, you know, the bulkhead or whatever. I don't know. I'm using words, but yeah, um, yeah. it, it seems like that was my first thought when looking at this. It's like okay, you've created a tube, but that's not a rocket. There's still a lot of other right. things that go along with it. So. Um, I don't know. That's a very uneducated thing to say. Really quick, though, that, uh, Tim, did you see um, uh, Destin from Smarter Every Day, his tour of the ULA factory? Yeah, of course. With Tori. It was awesome. And, well, they talked a lot about welding there at one point, yep. I remember. Friction stir welding. Yep, yeah. Which is kind of what the industry does. Where It's beautiful because all you're literally doing is rubbing the two metals until they melt into each other and become like a seamless-ish, you know, <laughs> piece of metal. Actually, it's, it's super awesome. Yeah. You're not even injecting, you know, like welding you're you're in introducing normally another material especially like braze welding you know you're introducing another material as, as a flux in between those or whatever but mm -hmm. like friction stir welding you're literally just pushing two pieces and then rubbing them together until they melt and become one it's it's crazy mm. um but so here's here's what elon has to say about this topic if you would go ahead and stop oh, you sharing share? your screen i'll, yeah, I'll yeah. share mine and i will tell you what elon has to say about why they don't do this because this has been asked now, did you just ask him as we were recording, or was this previously? <laughs> no, this was on January 5th. This is January 5th last year. Um, someone asked this. Why don't you just form massive steel skins? You could make it the same way, make a spiral wound pipe, blah, blah, blah. And Elon said, spiral winding is great for uniform thickness. We used that for the Hyperloop vacuum tunnel. However, Starship skin thickness will vary considerably according to loads. So in other words, the bottom rings are thicker than the top rings because the bottom oh, rings have to support okay. all the weight of the all the weight of the it. rings above it so it's That's not uniform water thickness tower thing. yeah it's yeah the whole exactly. water tower thing so you can't really do that <laughs> That's why they have water tower companies building this stuff out there yeah you really <laughs> well, yeah exactly and you know you've seen the rings on them right yep. that's why there's more rings yeah. on the bottom yeah it makes sense it's that same and it really when you think about trying to roll out a continuous sheet you're, you're no longer like that doesn't work and when you're at an angle it's like the rings is actually the best re the best way to do it. So well, there you go. There's. there's so are the, the rings answer. like bigger on the bottom, or just the metals thicker? The metals thicker. Okay. Yep. Okay. And who knows? They they actually might someday. I'm totally speculating. Uh, depending on because you know how the rings normally get so much like on, on those water towers on top of New York City, like you were talking yeah, about, yeah. where it's like wooden towers, and you see other a bunch of tightly bound rings. Maybe later on they can make it so it's really thick, more uniform, thin pieces for the top, you know, yeah. um, compared to the ones at the bottom. But yeah, remember though, these the, the one of the big challenges about welding these materials and doing all the stuff is that it has to handle cryogenic temperatures, mm. you know, very, very, very cold, very high pressure, 8.5 bar. So way beyond like what a water tower has to handle. So it's not mm. like just welding a water tower. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's like super trivial compared to cryogenic temperatures super high pressures and then also at some point re-entry heating has to be survivable too so it's just handling it's taking everything to the absolute extremes yeah, yeah. well that was that was a good why don't they just yeah because i just that. learned something that's perfect and we actually knew the answer and i don't learn things easily so we and, and we actually found we actually had the answer for once instead of like well maybe they hmm why Wild don't they speculation because we kind of have to take a, a why don't they just back do you guys remember the whole landing dragon capsule? Uh, why don't they just land it on the net boat, you know, on mm -hmm. one of the fairing mm -hmm. catching boats? Elon casually mentioned that he would like to try working on that someday. Oh, really? It might take a huh. bigger boat, but... We can yeah. make bigger boats. They can make bigger <laughs> boats. They can get a bigger boat if they think it's worth it to not have to refurbish it. Man, yeah, because yeah, it would be a lot of money, but... Hmm. but just if they can, uh, refurbish they love, an aircraft carrier. <laughs> they love trying to catch stuff from space so why not let them keep doing it <laughs> hey thanks for checking us out guys I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast we do a weekly show here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe to our ludicrous future where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous you can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.